We're going to look at an iterative method for finding where a function crosses the x-axis. That's called the x-intercept, or the x-value of that point right there is called uh, the zero of the function. Now the example that we're looking at is x cubed plus 1. It's clear in this case that that value is a minus 1. But suppose we were looking at a function that it was hard for us to to discover from algebraic or graphical means exactly what that point was and we wanted a scheme that would get us closer and closer to it. Here's what Newton suggested. He said look at it and try and make a a reasonable guess. So we'll guess x1 is equal to a negative 0 0.5. Okay not a not a perfect guess. I mean if we had a guess exactly right it would be a negative 1. But Newton said okay look at that particular point just so we can keep track of things we'll, we'll build the point in the plane called B1 that has x1 and 0 so there's that point the x value of this B1 is our x1 and we can see that it's just not quite right so here was Newton's scheme he said build another point we'll call it A1 which has x1 as its x value and its y value being x1. Okay, so there's the point on the function that has the same x value as our first guess. Newton then suggested uh, build a tangent line. GeoGebra will allow us to do that. Let's go through that point and tangent to that curve. And look where that tangent line crosses the x-axis that point right there is going to be our new x2 it's going to be our new guess we're going to build that in the following way x2 is going to be equal to because GeoGebra told us the equation of this line we can just look at that equation and say well when is y going to be 0 when does this line cross the x-axis that's when y is equal to 0 that'll be at a negative 1.25 and 0 0.75. Okay, so that's our x2. Let's plot uh, b2 just so that we can see where things are going here. b2 will have a, an x value of x2 and a y value of 0. There it is right there. The x value of, of this b2 is our second uh, approximation. Now we'll do the same scheme over and over again with that new guess we'll find the, func the, the point on the function, we'll look at the tangent line and that new tangent line crossing the x-axis will be our new guess. So our x3 is going to be x2 f of x2. Now I'm going to have to adjust this uh, graph just a little bit so we can see that. There we are. The x value here the x value here are the same and there we are on the the function once again we'll build a tangent line through this new point that we constructed tangent to there that point right there is going to be our new x3 so let's construct x3 x3 is going to be equal to well it's a matter of looking at this particular equation finding out when y is equal to 0 it'll be negative 10.26 divided by 8.33 so that's our x3 and let's build our b3 just so that we can see where it is on the graph that will be x3 with the y value of 0 the x value of b3 is our third guess now notice how these are going we're here, then we're here, then we're here. Notice we keep getting closer. Can you see on the next one that when we look at this, find this point on the curve about right here, and then look at that tangent line, that that tangent line will be closer to minus 1 than it has been before. That's, uh, that's Newton's method. Now here's a pretty rough hand sketch of the problem that we were looking at earlier where that tangent line went and this was going to be our new x n plus 1 
the x value of that particular point would be xn plus 1. Now in this case, when we're looking at uh, this particular function, xn plus 1 is going to be equal to whatever our previous guess was, xn, minus xn cubed plus 1 divided by 3x uh, n squared. Okay, that's Newton's, Newton's method for this particular function. John Hubbard asked the question if Newton's method would work well for uh, the complex version of a function. And so here in the complex plane, the domain of this function, it's known that z cubed plus 1 really has three roots. Negative 1, a half plus uh, approximately 8.66i and and a half minus uh, 0.866i. Uh, Hubbard conjectured that that probably what would happen is if you picked pick some starting point in the plane and begin to to do a Newton iteration on that to see where it would converge that if you were close to this particular one then it would converge there if you were close to here it would converge there and if you were close to here it would converge there so in in other words <clears throat> he uh, argued like this he said suppose that we that we took the dis took this angle halfway between those two points um, if we took the angle halfway between these two points that would put us right on this line and if we took the angle halfway between these two points uh, somewhere around in here I guess uh, this this one probably really so the three regions Hubbard conjectured any point starting point in this region would probably converge to here and the starting point in this region would probably converge to here and any starting point in this region would probably converge to here.